New at five, more explosive testimony in the Michael Jackson wrongful death trial. Jurors heard from Jackson's former security chief. An eyewitness news reporter, Miriam Hernandez, says they learned about a medical emergency involving the pop star that few people had known about. Some six years before Michael Jackson stopped breathing in his Holmby Hills home, he fell unconscious at an Orlando hotel, according to his security director. Michael LaPeruque, a former L.A. Sheriff's deputy, testified about an incident he says he has never disclosed publicly until now. He says hotel security alerted him that Jackson's children had called paramedics. La Peruque, I found the two children crying. Prince and Paris, they were crying. They were saying they couldn't wake up daddy. Peruque said Jackson had collapsed on the floor but was still breathing, that he helped him to his bed where he came to. AEG defense attorney Marvin Putnam asked if he later discussed the incident with Jackson. No, stated La Peruque. I didn't believe it was my place. La Peruque worked for Jackson between 2001 and 2004, a time in which Jackson sought help from Dr. Almirad Farshian for addiction to Demerol. La Peruque testified that he had concerns that Jackson may overdose, that 10 to 15 times he had observed Jackson slurring his speech, mumbling, nodding off in meetings. Despite the episodes, La Peruque says he never saw meds in Jackson's hotel room or saw him take meds. He described a failed intervention at Neverland Ranch in 2001 that Jackson's brother Randy hired a helicopter to breach the perimeter and land on the grounds. La Peruque said Jackson asked to have Randy sent away. La Peruque said he complied. The AEG defense contends that the company should not be held liable for Jackson's death because AEG did not know about medical conditions that Jackson kept secret, that Jackson insulated himself even from his family. The Jackson attorneys elicited testimony that the times Jackson was slurring his speech could have been from a sleeping pill, the star struggling with insomnia. La Peruque stated there was no indication that the singer was taking any drugs in front of his children, that if he thought the children were endangered, he said, he would have called authorities. La Peruque returns to the stand on Monday when the trial resumes. Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News.